Good evening. Hello, good evening. Having dinner. Hello, Jose. How are you tonight? I'm fine, teacher. Great. Great to hear. Ready for tonight? I am ready. Good. Okay. Today is Wednesday, November 17th. Almost done tomorrow with this year. Tomorrow is eclipse, teacher. Really? Oh. There's an eclipse to tomorrow? Okay. Tomorrow. Thank you for letting me know. I'll keep an eye at night. Is it a lunar eclipse or a moon eclipse? Lunar eclipse. A moon eclipse, okay. Wow. I'll keep an eye on that. Will we see it in El Salvador? Yeah. Uh... Zero zero three again the Friday I, I believe. Oh really? Okay. I'll keep an eye on that. I like eclipse. Okay, tonight, Wednesday, I'm staying with Ada Azucena Caceres Mendoza. Hello, Doc. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you tonight? You good? Present, present, teacher. You're okay. Okay. Great. Okay, guys. Let's use just three minutes of our time while we wait for the others. I want to hear you speaking. So say hello to your classmates. Heidi is busy. She's working. <laughs> Good evening. Okay, everybody talking, talking, talking. I want to hear a lot of noise. Come on. Okay, that's too much noise. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, you don't want to talk tonight. You're supposed to be speaking here. This is your opportunity to say what, what you have studied. So go ahead, you still have two more minutes. Come on, speak. Good evening to all of you. Good evening, guys. Good evening. How are you? How, how was your day today? Uh, I am pretty good, then. But as, uh, my day was just a common day. Work the whole day. The hours okay. prepare the dinner. After good. the work, play with my girl. Things like that. And now I am taking classes. What about you? Uh, the same too. This, and <laughs> I have the same routine all the week. And do you work at home or, or office? Yes, I work at home. I am working okay. from home. Okay. That's good because you don't spend money traveling or in food? Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, I really like to work from home, but sometimes I miss water outside. You work 10 hours. Hey, teacher, we day. already talked. <laughs> Sorry. You work 10 hours. 10 hours a day? Yes, 10 hours. Yes, uh, from um, 
Tuesday to Saturday, yes, it's crazy. But anyway. Uh, but you have two days off? Yes. Two days, uh, okay. two days off. Yes. Okay. Okay. Good. <clears throat> Shame on you guys. Shame on you. You're in intermediate four. You should talk. Listen to Jocelyn and, and, and Andres. You have to try. Try it. I mean... You see, it's so easy to start a conversation, to get a conversation topic. Um, that, that, that's a good conversation topic, actually. Uh, you know, uh, the call center, they want me to go back to the site because they hired me back on 2021. No, wait, 2020. Back on October last year. And I've been working from home since day one. I have never been to the site. And now they want me to go back to the site. And I'm like, no, I'm not going back. I'm not going back. I have to take care of my kids. You know, I have to be here. here. And COVID is not over yet. COVID is not over yet. So I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. If they say, you know, that I definitely have to go back to the site, I better quit my job and spend Christmas with the family. There are many call centers. That's the advantage of speaking English. That's the advantage of speaking English. You can find a job anywhere. And there's a lot of um, workplaces eager, eager to get people. That's a new word maybe for you, eager. They're eager to get more people. And it's not easy to find English, well, English speakers. It's not easy to find people who speak English very well. So thank God I'm a teacher. I don't know. Again, I don't know what I will do without English. I'm telling you. Um, I think I'm a little smart. I'm a little smart, but without English, man, I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, I, I have no idea. I never thought about doing something else that is not related to English. It's like Fernando working without knowing I, things about uh, IT, right? Fernando knowing about systems, about programming, I mean, about beers. Yes, the, the English is very important for my job. Yeah, your tools, your tools are in English, right? Yes, all are in English and the research that I have to do every, every day, all, are in English. Yeah, that's very important. Okay, before proceeding, let's do the attendance. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Andrés Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present teacher. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Not yet. Irene Azucena Cuellar Albanés. Present teacher. Excellent. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. Johnny Present Johnny. teacher. Hey, there you are. Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Present. There you are. Josué Alberto Salas Benítez. So Albert is not here yet. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present teacher. Welcome. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Roberto Luis Sumaño Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Thank you. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Not yet. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Okay. I know Alianza is playing, but turn off the TV. <laughs> I'm just saying, okay. Zuleima Ivonne Moreno Hernandez. Present. Hey, Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. We cannot hear you in the classroom. Okay. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present teacher. Excellent. Okay. 
So somebody give me a brief about yesterday's class. What do you remember about yesterday's class? What was the topic vocabulary that you remember about yesterday? Exactly, we were talking about channels of distribution. Very good. What else? Direct and indirect. Direct and indirect channels of distribution. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's better for you from your perspective? It depends on the product. <laughs> it depends on the product. Hmm. It's uh, it's associated with the cost, I guess. It's associated with the cost somebody has been studying. Good job, Johnny. Yes, it's associated with the cost. Why? Mm. Why? <laughs> Come on, guys. Help Johnny, help Johnny. Someone, someone. <laughs> When you mm -hmm. chose the direct channel, you need to invest about uh, equipment like a trucks. Uh, um, I forget the the word mano de obra. Workforce. Uh, workforce, very good. Yeah, workforce, good. and you need to um, think about the insurance. Who are going to manage the the um, the business. relation with the client huh? relation with the client you got it who's gonna get happy customers for you great job thank you Luis Ernesto thank you Johnny that is true who's going to manage the business for you basically right you have to invest on Luis Ernesto you have to invest on um, equipment on the direct channel the direct distribution channel okay teacher mm -hmm. how do you say flota the float. Float. The float. Yeah, the float. Really? I, I've heard that before. Yeah, the truck okay. float. It's a truck float. Okay. I, I spoke with a man from Texas who ran a business of truck float. It, it's crazy. And he used to go uh, every day to the same gas station to fuel the tanks. He used to go to the same gas station every every day to fuel the tank. So the, the, he was requesting um, a discount, a special discount from the from the gas station. Let me correct this. Um, fleet, Navy. Wait, no, fleet. Okay, let's see. Let's try. Yes, I'm looking at fleet with double uh -huh. truck fleet. Yeah, truck mm -hmm. fleet, truck fleet. Okay. okay, you got it. Truck fleet. That has to do a lot, and it's not just the trucks, but you have to invest on marketing. And part of the marketing is like putting your logo right to the trucks, to the um, to the vest. If you put vests on your employees or their or their what they're gonna wear, their their uniforms. Sometimes you have to give them boots as well. Well, now there's a regulation in El Salvador. It's crazy. I, I don't like this, but my wife works um, producing clothes, right? Uh, underwear for women. And they have displays, you know, girls on the supermarkets. And now is a requirement for the woman, for women or men working at the supermarkets to wear boots with cubes you know with metal cubes it's crazy i mean how can you make someone who is standing the whole day in the supermarket wear boots that's and it's a regulation you must do it if not you're penalized i don't like this kind of rules i don't know what do you think Maybe it's, it's useful, useful for 
some people, but in that case, I think that no. Right. I mean, you kill, how do you say, le mat, le mat el plant? <laughs> how do you say that in English? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you have beautiful women displaying your product. It's not, it's out of fashion, yes. It's out of fashion. That's a fashion killer. That's a fashion killer, the, the boots, definitely. Sandra, remove your mask. You're driving. I don't like driving with the mask. Do you drive with the mask? It's, it's annoying. Like it. it's, it's annoying. And that's why I don't want to go back to the call center as well, because I can I can picture, listen, I can picture myself. I cannot picture myself wearing a mask all day. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. That, that sounds weird. Okay. So let's get this started. <clears throat> Johnny said a key word today. He said, it depends on the product teacher. It depends on the product, the distribution channel that you want to choose. Do you think that is true? Is that true? <laughs> okay, in this class, I will be able to, Jose, Jose Antonio, in this class, I will be able to read, please. Decide on the most appropriate distribution channel or a product based, based on the information from a matrix and analysis. Excellent. Okay, decide on the most appropriate, appropriate, just the way it is written, the most appropriate distribution channel for a product based on the information from a matrix analysis. So just what Johnny said, it depends on the product. So to clarify this, which products need a faster distribution speed? Which products need a faster distribution speed? What distribution methods is your competition using? Okay, remember the methods, direct or indirect. And among the indirect, distribution channels, you have a lot of people involved, let's say, or businesses involved, right? You have wholesalers, retailers, you have distributors in the consumer itself, personal, you know, personal sales agents that could distribute your product. So which products need a faster distribution speed? What do you think? Food, which? Food. Food. Yeah, food. What we said yesterday, perishables, perishable yes. items, true, it's true. Food and the uh, ice cream, it's so difficult, the ice cream. I'm sorry, can you repeat that, Irwin? <clears throat> food and the ice cream. And ice cream, oh my God, ice yeah, cream. This is a good ice problem. Ice cream, that's a um, great, big problem. In the food, the most the most problem is the ice cream and the cheese. <laughs> what about chocolate? Chocolate, more, yeah, chocolate. Too. Yeah, they the get chocolate. melted. What happens yeah. with cheese? With cheese, uh, have a, for example, in the transportation, change the coolant or the temperature, you will have problem. The project will be different. For example, Pizza Hut buy uh, cheese from lactose. Mm -hmm. In the transportation, the thermokin had to be the similar te te temperature, temperature. In the temperature in the time when the transportation go out at the lactose to Pizza Hut, the similar temperature temperature okay they ha they have to have the same temperature yes. or similar yes. from the place from from the place they pick up the product to the final destination for example pizza hut lactosa to pizza hut for example uh -huh, uh -huh. yeah okay from the point of origin to the destination from the point yes. of origin to the destination well yes i mean if you if you freeze 
the cheese, it's it gets ruined, right? It ruins if you freeze the cheese, if it is too cold. Okay, you if you freeze the cheese, if you freeze eggs, for example, you cannot eat them anymore, or they 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 miss the taste, right? They lost they lose the taste. Okay, so true. Perishables. What other items need a faster distribution speed? Vacuum teacher. Two. What? Vacuum. Bacon. Vacuum. Bacon. Bacon. Oh, oh. Vaccines. 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 That's okay. Vaccines. Vaccines. It's true. Difficult. Yeah, it's they difficult. did you did you see the whole problem they had? They had to bring, that's even worse, Irwin, because the aircraft needs to be, um, oh, how did you say, ambientado, climatized. It has to be climatized. Yeah, oh my God. So, okay. What distribution methods is your competition using, Irwin? Batteries. But uh, no, it's so easy because only you need a truck, only not. You just need a truck. On a truck, on a truck, on a truck. And the, in El Salvador, uh, the, all the battery in El Salvador from the, the transportation in the boat, the boat from Mexico, mm -hmm. Colombia, and China. Okay, so so there are only three providers. They, there are only three battery providers to El Salvador. Yes, Mexico, China, Mexico, and Mexico, Colombia, oh, Colombia, China. Colombia produces batteries. Yes, yes, yes. I didn't know the, that. The, the, the company, the name is Johnson Control. Mm. Johnson Control is the the factory. The Wait, most important. Johnson and Johnson or just Johnson? No, Johnson Control. Johnson Control. Johnson Control. It's okay. The most important produce. The, battery producer, producer, the, battery, the most in, important battery producer in the world. In the world. Interesting. In the world. Okay, they guys. A, they have factory in all, all in many oh, countries. In many countries, all around yeah. the world, in many countries. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to split you guys for a few minutes so you can talk about these two questions. Just follow the example that I've been doing with Irwin. Discuss, get ideas with your classmates. Okay. So you can have a natural conversation. That's your main goal. Remember to speak. Hello, Caroline. Good evening. Hello. How are you doing? <laughs> you remember Joy Tra Triviani? Joy Tra Traviani or Triviani? I can remember Traviani. Who grew up with friends? Did you grow up with friends? Did you grow up with friends? <laughs> no? Oh, my God, really? Oh my God. My cousin and I used to drink coffee every day watching Friends when we were kids. It's amazing. And she used to compare me with Ross. I don't know why. Anyways. Uh, I like uh, to see, to watch uh, Los Años Maravillos. Yes, the Wonder uh -huh. Years. And yeah. I was Kevin Arnold. I was, oh my God. That was amazing. It was beautiful series. I don't know why they stopped playing uh, Los Años Maravillosos anymore. Anyways, let's go ahead, practice with your classmates. I'm gonna send you the questions to your chat right now. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Just corporativo left. Is that is that what you hear when when I get disconnected from the group? Yeah. No. No. Okay. Yes, 
recording stopped. stopped. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you go like Pajillo. Yeah, the back, the back seat, no. <laughs> okay, guys, come on. Have a conversation with the two questions. You can do it. Okay. For example, the milk. In milk. When the farmers uh, sell to the, to the, ¿cómo sería? Alguien que recolecta. Porque hay, hay un, como un termo que, que recolecta a todos los, los productores de leche, digamos, para llevarlo a la fábrica donde procesa. Uh -huh. Entonces tiene que ser. Uh -huh. Llevarlo rápido. Tomatoes too. Tomatoes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For the general. Mm -hmm. And vegetables are products that needs a faster distribution. Mm -hmm. I guess. And sometimes. Mm -hmm. yeah. in general for example mm, cake mm, yes too yes they need refrigerator mm -hmm. the delivery has to be faster because if the delivery is a buzzer, the, the medicine uh, could, uh, could uh, how do you get, say? get spoiled. Get spoiled. Ah, coronaria. Correct. Get spoiled. Okay, someone else? Yes, I, I, I agree with you. Uh, for example, some vaccines. Vaccines? Uh, some vaccines, for example, the COVID vaccines, uh, uh, they need a team, 15, 15 persons. People. Um, people, 15 people need to be for for this these doctors open the 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 vaccines if they doesn't have a they don't have they don't have a people they don't have people they can't open vaccines because vaccines because maybe get spoiled vaccines vaccines get spoiled Yes. They need to move fast. Yes. It's oh. um. And the yogurt, the yogurt, for example, I uh, think that it is necessary to be distribute, distributor, distributor fast, because, faster because it's an perecedero. How can I Perishable. say? That? Perishable. Perishable. It's perishable. A perishable item. It's a perishable item. Mm -hmm. item. The, the milk products, for example, maybe needs to uh, to be delivered faster because uh, well, if in the delivery have the, the equipment, 
for keep, uh, how do you say refrigerado or, or fresco? To keep it fresh. To keep, to keep it fresh or cold. Maybe, uh -huh, maybe uh, they, we, they won't have problems, but if, if you, you need the, the equipment to, to deliver uh, all the products with the necessary. In the case, the, the, the deliver maybe could be later. Example, the people who, who sell on the street, different kind of products or food, for example, and chicken, chicken bread, or game bread, or other kind of food they need to sell. In the, in the next question is, what distribution method is your competition using? In my case, our company uh, don't have a doesn't have doesn't, <laughs> doesn't have a specific competitor. Uh, a competitor because we we sell to the massive producer. Like uh, you, you sell mass production. We, we sell. No, you sell products in bulk. No, we sell material to package massive. Uh, the de consumo masivo, ¿cómo sería? Oh, oh. Uh, like a food, like a massive medicine. consumption, massive uh -huh. consu consumption products. Mass, mass consumption, consumption mass products. consumption products, mass consumption products. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's why we don't. Uh, we doesn't have a specific. We don't. We don't have. We don't have. We we don't have. We don't have a specific competitor. In El Salvador, we only have. Competitors, but uh, they work with the uh, different clients and um, ours. In my case, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yes, in Hello. my case, is is a service. Um, mm -hmm. And the the distribution channel can be can be through uh, agent. And through the many countries, but mm -hmm. that okay when you are going to you are going to acquire the service and other other time is when you when the people has an accident. When they, people have an accident. When the people have an accident, a cure. There, there is there is there are other person. There are others uh, agents that acting just for that 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 event. For example, there are two kind of the two kind of agent agent one of to sell and other one to to receive or attend and client mm -hmm. okay yes i think with services a uh, different kind of uh, yeah. distribution channels In you, Sulema? Or uh, in my in my case, 
uh, I think uh, there are two, two ways. Uh, the number one is read a channel. Uh, mm. And the number two is wholesale channel. Mm, but nice. mm, because it's a, it's a big company. Uh, so in the United States, Canada, and other in other countries, uh, they have uh, the we produce uh, the products and they go to the retail and they sell to the to the consumers. And the other is the wholesale channel because uh, we have uh, another's. Uh, I, I don't know how to say. Um, Other. Uh, yeah, distribute. Yeah, <laughs> distribute. And we, for example, uh, the company sells to other companies like Walmart, for example, and mm. distribute distribute to other retails or to. To sell to the products to the cons the consumers, uh, in my case, for example, in my plan, uh, we sell only underwear for men and boys, but we have another plans uh, that produce, for example, uh, panties, uh, boxers, t-shirts, uh, polo shirts, uh, sweaters, pants. And a lot of um, kind of clothes, and we well, well the company have um, other uh, plants, manufacturing plants, uh, including Mexico and Vietnam. So it's a, a big, big, big company. You were that fruit of the loom, right? Yeah, fruit of the loom. Okay, let's continue. Okay. Okay, so can anybody give me the right answer? I mean, what did you find out? Which products need a faster distribution other than what we mentioned with Irwin, um, cheese, perishable items like food, ham, chocolate, what other products? And by the way, Irwin, what's the name of the truck? Uh, Thermoclean. Thermoclean. King, 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 king. King, king. Thermo Thermo king. king. Yeah. This is the name. Like the, the, like the king of Europe. Like the king of the United Kingdom, okay. Thermo King. Okay. I'll look for it because I, I always forget that name. Wow. And technology is moving on really fast. Those trucks are not what they used to be before. Nowadays, they have their own AC system and is a more technological there's AC system, it's not just any system, you know, it's very complex. Okay, so, uh huh. What other, what other products need fast distribution? Um, seafood? Seafood, Ooh, yes. Yes, seafood. And, and people there, people there to uh, transport it on pickups, right? With ice and, and salt. 
they dare to, and you buy it. And you buy it. Where can you get fresh, fresh fish? How can you get fresh fish? Um, buy to the fisher. <laughs> you got it. Yes. If you go to the El Puerto de Libertad, if you go to El Puerto de Libertad, you just go to La Palangana. You know, at the end of the of the. Oh my God! Of the bridge. How do you call that thing? Even in Spanish, I forgot. Uh, the muelle, right? If you go to the end, um, you just wait for a fisherman to come out of the, the sea and you go with him and you ask him to sell you something. It's cheaper, it's fresher, you know, there's a lot of advantages. So if you're a bookso, okay, you can get good prices and fresh fish. Okay, yeah, fish, oh my God, meat, right? What else, guys? Milk. Milk. Yeah, we were talking about the milk. But um, I was talking about this. Andres, I think, was mentioning, right, Andres? The milk, but from the producer. From the producers. Because at least, what's the name of your city? I'm sorry again. Citala. <laughs> Citala. Okay, uh, but there are many places in our country, guys, where small farmers produce milk every day. Now, how do they transport the milk? I think there are specific companies, right? I don't think Salud buys directly from those producers. I think Not Salud... Perfect. Salud, the, teacher. Uh -huh. Salud have the, the animal. They have their they, cows? Yes, they have their cows. They have their cows. Lactosa, no. Lactosa no, have, have many, some, some, something, uh, something animals. They have some animals. Some. They some have, a, this is the problem, how to say, pipa de leche. Mm, good point. How do you say pipa de leche? I don't know how to say pipa de leche. Me neither. Mr. Google. <laughs> Why me? But is the, is the right okay. word? Is the pipa right word pipa? Leche. You mean pipa? Oh, Irwin, Irwin, pipa like. No, no, no. Pipa oh, de leche. Pipa, pipa de leche. Milk pipe. Milk pipe. Milk pipe? Really? Nah. I was thinking about milk pipe, but I was afraid of saying milk pipe. That's the literal, that's the literal translation. How do you know if something that you look on Google Translate is what you're looking for? How do you know if the milk pipe is the milk pipe that you're looking for? Well, you do a search for images. Do a search by images and you will have a lot of pipes, a lot of tubos. <laughs> okay. So that's not the one we're looking for. Tuberia. Yeah, tuberia, right. So what is the right word for pipa? Man, tank. tank? Milk tank. That makes more sense. Hmm. Milk tank truck. So it's a compound yes. word. Yes. There are some images. There are a lot of images. Yes. For example, like Tulsa with the milk tanks. How say milk tank? <laughs> no, hold on. Milk Mil tanks. Uh -huh. Milk tanks. Trucks. Milk tanks. Yes. Uh huh. They go to the many farmer. Many farmers, local yeah. farmers, local farmers. Local uh -huh. farmer, for example, San Miguel, Santana, and they they, they take collect. the mm -hmm. they collect the meat, the that person. That, can, you, that, can you combine the milk? Yes, they buy the milk. Yes. Is After that, 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 do you think that's okay to combine yeah. different different cows' milk? Yeah, yeah. They do that. Yeah. People know. Uh, can uh, 
fill a complete tank? Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. Really? Yes. Nah, you're you're yes. kidding me. What <laughs> cow can't fill a full tank? Oh no, my god. No. I you just said, I just picture said, myself so going you. going with the you tank. Can't believe it. Hey, fill it up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, fill it up. <laughs> they go many farms, different farms, different farms. Wow. Yes. With the low price, they 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 buy with the low price, with the low the price. lowest price in the market. Yes, yes. Well, local, 30, local farmers, thirty-five cents per bottle. Again, Andres, thirty-five cents per bottle. Oh, they, they they are certified. The farmers are certified. No, uh, they sell the milk for thirty-five cents. Oh, 35 no. cents the gallon. No, no the, bottle. the bottle. The bottle. The bottle. Yes. It's measured in bottles. Wow. Wow. I miss that from living in El Puerto de Libertad for five years. Uh, every day, every every day, almost every day, there was this guy, you know, on, uh, how do you say, Carreta, Mr. Google? <laughs> there was a guy on this artisanal, yeah. art, artisanal truck, you know. <laughs> driving all around the, the 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 neighborhood milk milk tling, 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 tling. we were like oh my god here comes the milk my kid was little and, and we used to eat um have thumb you ever bread. Carreta, thumb bread. write it write it on the chat please have you ever eaten tortilla with milk yes do you like it yeah no, I don't like yeah. it. Come on, that's <laughs> cereal. That's cereal. The Salvadorian cereal. That's the Salvadorian cereal. <laughs> I have taste milk direct from the cow. Uh -huh. with sugar. With sugar, yes. No, not boiling it? No. Direct from the almost, direct uh, from direct, direct from, from the from, from the, the cow. Or, how do you say Uber in English? Oh my god. The teats from the cow, yeah? yeah. The other. <laughs> uh, it's the other. 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 But, but teacher, but mm -hmm. lactosa don't sell milk. Lactosa doesn't sell milk. Doesn't sell milk. No, it's true. They sell. Yeah, because they they win it's, more money with the they make, cheese. They make cream, more money with products. cheese yes, products. Cream, yes. With cream. What about petacones? Petacones. Yeah. They, they have a don't have a milk too. They don't have milk. It the just, milk is a it's a bad business. In liquid yes. milk, milk, liquid liquid milk. Liquid is a milk bad, is a bad milk. is a bad business. Have you ever seen how they produce the powder, powder milk? No, it's just based on air. It's just air, hot air, hot air, hot air until it becomes powder. It's crazy. I saw a, a, a special on National Geographic. The cart, I found other, yeah, other. What is the cart, Alexander? An interesting fact, about Leche Salud is I heard, I heard, I heard, these are rumors, gossips, okay, that they can leave the milk on the sun for many hours and it doesn't get spoiled. Oh, Alexander, yeah, Carreta, thank you. Teacher, teacher, but hey. Leche Salud is Cooperativa Ganadera de Sonsonate. Oh, yeah. oh my God, we're learning a lot yes, about yes. our products. And are, these are national products, right? National Lactosa products. Lactosa and Salud. Lactosa, mm. Lactosa is an enterprise uh, only produce cheese, cream, um, but Requeson. only, Requeson, but the uh, only one company in El Salvador produce milk. Produces it's milk. Produces milk. Who? Cooperativa salud? Ganadera de Sonsonate Salud. Oh, yeah. yeah, I miss foremost. Anyways, okay, interesting topic, national brands. Okay, let's keep going. So now, next on your book, you have a conversation regarding our next topic. If you have noticed the approach that we use 
in these classes is the TBL, the task-based approach. So now you have an example on how to use clarifying um, the name of this thing, I'm sorry, expressions of certainty, expressions of certainty. So let's take a look. Um, <clears throat> it says the business is going well. Oh, what am I reading? Hold on. Uh, let me have two volunteers. Say me and your name. Me, Andres, teacher. Okay, me, Andres, and me, Sulema. Good. <laughs> I saw your face. I saw your face. You're like, me. Okay. <laughs> One, two, three, action. The business is going well. I never thought our ice cream would sell like this. Yeah, the boat is always packed with people. We have to set our own ice cream shop. We don't know anything about running our own, own store. Let us the manager at the ice cream shop downtown. Certainly, he will want to buy our incredible ice cream. OK. Any new words? Any new words for you? <laughs> I know that's a not, it's not a usual word. How do you say carrete in English? The same thing happens here. The booth. I just can't believe, I can't believe they use that word in this book. It's the what place. Is it? What is wagon? Wagon, we'll get there, but hold on. The booth, the booth is the place where you sell. And it's not a store. It's not a store. It's the place in the corner, okay, where you can put your cart, let's say, oh. el puesto. Oh. <laughs> you will leave it, el puesto. It's always packed, packed with people. We have to set our own ice cream shop, okay? We don't have anything. To Okay, where, where is the word, um, jury? Uh, I don't know. Wagon, wagon, is, wagon, is, wagon. It's like a carreta. Oh, no. oh, yeah, the wagon. Um, Volkswagen's head of the wagon. <laughs> the Volkswagen wagon. wagon is not for, for example, the, of the train. Yeah, the, the, part the part wagons of a train, correct, as well, the wagons of a train. That's different. Um, they go on rail on on the rail, I don't know, on the line of the trains. So, I thought it was on the on the lecturing. I'm sorry, on the reading. So, let's see. Our ice cream will sell like this. Uh, the booth is always packed with people. We have to set our own ice cream shop. We don't know anything about running our own store. Let's let's ask the manager at the ice cream shop downtown, downtown. Certainly, certainly he will want, he will want not a usual thing to see will with want. Hmm. He will want to buy our incredible ice cream. So instead of going for a shop, pay attention, instead of going for a shop, they want to get distributors. Mm, interesting. Okay, let's practice this lecture for just 10 minutes, no more than 10 minutes, and we come back, okay? And I'll split you in very small groups so you can practice reading. Do you have any other questions, any other words? Teacher, hey. uh, but the sentence, the, when it says the boot is packed with the booth is the booth always is always packed, packed with people. Uh -huh. Packed. Packed. There you uh -huh. go. Good pronunciation, with Andres. People. Packed with people. We have to set our own mm -hmm. ice cream shop. Mm -hmm. uh, what does it mean, the whole sentence? Oh, well, you have a puesto. <laughs> mm -hmm. and, and it's always crowded with people. Mm -hmm. They have a lot uh -huh. of customers. 
Mm -hmm. But you can use that word to say that because. What do you mean? No es lo mismo de empacar, no, de empaque. Oh, oh, I got your point. Crowded, mm -hmm. packed. Yeah, you can use that word. It's always packed oh, okay. with people. Uh, my father, my father's example, he's selling tortillas in a corner. I told you, right, in Santa Ana, but he has reached this level already. His booth is always packed with people. He is, there's always a vehicle or sometimes... There's a line of vehicles of cars, you know, waiting to buy tortillas. So I think he, he should get a, a shop, you know, or another. And I already told him, you should get a distribution channel. You know, <laughs> we have been talking about this with my father because he's producing too much. He, he bought, he bought uh, a milled, you know, a milled. <clears throat> he uses another word. I can remember the word he uses. Um, but he, he bought a milk, un molino, for the house because he's producing too many tortillas already. So he's growing. It's really good. Okay, let's practice the conversation for a few minutes and then we come back to continue with the topic, shall we? Okay. Okay, let's go. We're going in trios. Please make sure you speak. Hello. Hello. Hi, guys. The business is going to What page okay. is? Living. Yep. Page I, 11. Yeah. Thank you. I find it. OK. Want to start or can you start? OK. Me, the business is going well. I never thought our ice cream would feel like this. Yeah, the booth, booth is always but with people. Is correct, but teacher, how do you pronounce packed? Packed. Packed. Again, uh -huh. back. Pack, pack, and then t -t -t pack. pack. There you go. Okay. There you go. Okay. Packed. Okay. Yeah, the book is always packed with people. We have to set our own ice cream shop. We don't know anything about running our own store. Let's ask the manager at the ice cream shop downtown. Certainly, he will want to buy our incredible ice cream. Okay. Um, okay. Now, I go, yes, I'm going to start and you are going to... I am Philip. Philip, yeah. Okay. okay. Business is going well. I never thought our ice cream would sell like this. Yeah, the boat is always packed with the people. We have to set our own ice cream shop. We don't know anything about running our own store. Let's ask the manager at the ice cream shop downtown. The certain I he will want to buy or incredible ice cream. I see it. Incredible. Yes. Incredible. 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 There you go. Incredible. Okay. And teacher, how do you pronounce booth or booth? Booth, booth. booth. or booth? Like a, okay. like a seta al final. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. 
You're welcome. Okay, Jose Antonio, you want to try with Ada. Hello, Jose Antonio. Ooh. Okay. Go ahead. The business is a going well. Sandra away. Oh, okay. Don't worry. Let me move you. Anything about running or on the store? Let's ask the manager at the ice cream shop downtown. Certainly, he will want to not to buy our incredible ice cream. The business is going well. I never thought our ice cream will sell like this. Yeah, the bot is always packed with people. We have to set our own ice cream shop. We don't know anything about running our own store. Let's ask the manager at the ice cream shop downtown. Certainly, we will want to buy our incredible ice cream. The business is all is going well. I never thought our ice cream would sell like this. Yeah, the booth is always packed with people. We have to set our own ice cream shop. We don't know anything about running our own store. Let's ask the manager at the ice cream shop downtown. Certainly, he will want to buy our incredible ice cream. The business is going well. I never thought our ice cream would sell like this. Yeah, the booth is always packed with people. We have to set our own ice cream shop. Packed. Packed. Yeah. We don't we don't know anything about running or on business uh, on a store. <laughs> it's my turn. Yes. Okay. Let's ask man. Uh, let's ask the manager at the ice cream shop downtown. Certainly, he will want to buy our incredible ice cream. Okay. Video on YouTube. I, I like I like how speed the before him who was the president Obama president Obama mm -hmm. Obama I like it how tall. Him. How he talks. How he speaks. Uh -huh. How speak. We are talking about the. It's very easy to understand some people, but in other with other people, it's very difficult <laughs> for the speed. By by the link in, in the contraction or the difficult understand an active speaker. True. But what do we what we can do for for better that get better that teacher to improve that listening. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Just listening, just listen, listen, listen to English all day. Yes. You can improve it really fast. Okay. All the other thing is the translate. The only thing is the translation. Uh, uh, is uh, when you know uh, a new word, uh, you had to um, focus on what is not translate. Oh, yeah, you got it. That's true. You don't need to translate. You just need to focus on the sound. And the sound, what is, for example, mm. if I said bed, I had to imagine the bed. <laughs> no. Oh, you mean you have to picture the uh, object? Yeah, the, I don't and the object where the did object. you learn english teacher uh with a dictionary, dictionary. yeah at home <laughs> yeah. yeah no i don't know man i just 
I just had a dictionary when I was a kid and that's it. Yeah. All by myself. I thought that you, you receive English classes. Uh, just no. at school, the ones at school. Um, with, with the practice, you are you're improved. Uh, actually, I already knew English by the time when I was 15, 16 years old, I was already speaking, of course, mm -hmm. with a lot of uh, issues, mistakes. And then, yes, I practiced at the call centers that mm -hmm. helped me developing the English skills. But I loved it. I loved speaking English. So I improved it really fast, I will say. It was good. Okay. Okay, okay we got to go. Okay, let's just wait for the others. Irwin, Roberto, Alexander, and Irene. Okay, before continuing, let me do the attendance really quick. One more time. Ada Susena Caceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present teacher. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. I'm here. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Okay, thank you. Uh, Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present. She's still there, thank you. Irene Azucena Cuellar Albanés. Present. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. Present, Jim. Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernandez. Present. Thank you. Josué Alberto Salas Benítez. <laughs> Jerry Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present, teacher. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present, teacher. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Okay. Mm -hmm. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. She was around. Not anymore. Okay. Uh, Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Presente. Yay. Present. William, Alec <laughs> yes. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Presente, teacher. Thank you. <laughs> Sulima <laughs> Yvonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Excellent. Jocelyn Emelda Rivas Sabar. I said Jocelyn, thank you. I got you there. Okay, so moving on. I need two volunteers. Hey, what's up, Irving? I, I, I got you, thank you. I think you were not here yet. Okay, I need two other volunteers, two other people. Okay, I will try. Sure, go ahead, Alexander. Uh, Alexander needs a couple. <laughs> Alexander needs a couple. Thank you, William. Okay, one, two, three, action. The business is going well. I never thought for ice cream would sell like this. Yeah. The booth is always packed with people. We have to set our own ice cream shop. We don't know anything about running or um, store. Let's ask the manager at the ice cream shop downtown. Certainly, we he will want to buy our incredible ice cream. Awesome. Thank you. Repeat. Thought. 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 Uh, this could be a difficult word, but it's not. You say thought. Like that. Thought. Thought. Okay, here you gotta say packed. Packed. Go ahead, packed. 
packed. Mm -hmm. The booth is always packed. The booth is always packed. Okay. Uh, Remember, negatives of simple present, you say it on wrong, wrong. We don't end, uh, we don't know. Uh huh. Like that. We don't know anything. We don't know anything about running our own store, our own, our own, our own store. Running our own store, running our own store. And here's where you have to twist your tongue, you know, twist your tongue to the back. We don't know anything about running our own store, running our own store, running our own store, running our own store. <laughs> Difficult, right? Excellent. Okay, two more participants. Say me and your name. Mi Fernando. Uh -huh. Mi Fernando in. Thank you, mi Wendy. Hey, teacher. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Mi Fernando and mi Wendy, one, two, three, go. Okay, uh, the business is going well. I never thought our ice cream would see like this. Yeah, the bag is always packed. Same. Uh, with people, we have to set our own ice cream shop. Um, we don't know anything about running our own store. Let us, the manager at the ice cream shop downtown, certainly, certainly he will want to buy our incredible ice cream. That's a little bit better. Good. Okay. Hey, uh, two things again. You say thought. Thought. Z -O -T. Thought. 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 Okay, again, so you say Z. Z. Okay. Uh -huh. what? How am I going to do the whole done? You say thought. Thought. Can write the T. Yeah, the T is really big, okay? Thought. 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 Fernando, say zapato. 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 There you go. Thought. Thought. Okay, that's a thought. Very good. That is a thought. Very good. Okay, the business is going well. I never thought. Yes. Our ice cream. I never thought of. I never thought our ice cream. We'll sell. Come sell, on, sir. Sell. 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 You, sell. you got it. Sell like this. Yeah, the booth. 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 Wendy. Th -h -z, th -h -z. That's yeah. The th -z, okay. Correct. The booth is always packed. Booth. Booth. Booth is always. Packed. 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 There you go. Perfect. Yeah, the booth is always packed. Okay, guys. Practice. <laughs> practice. Are the oportunidades los ED endings. Google it. ED endings. ED endings. Okay. So together. What channel of distribution is Philip suggesting? What channel of distribution is Philip suggesting? Uh, retailer, store. Direct, 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 direct. retail, direct. <laughs> Why are you discussing over this? Come on, let's ask the manager at the ice cream shop downtown. Certainly, he will want to buy our incredible ice cream. So they're selling their product. Oh. They are the manufacturers, and they want to sell the product to a shop, a the manager shop. at a shop. Is that the final consumer? No. 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 He's a retail. retail. He's a retailer. At least he could he could become a distributor if they plan to sell the ice cream to more than one shop. <sighs> okay, that's the difference. You sell to a chain or you sell to a one, a unique store. Okay. Do Ed and Philip know how to run a store? 
Do they know how to run a store? No, they don't. No, no they don't. They don't know, right? Okay. Is there a difference between a booth and a store? Yeah. Yes. What's the difference? For the store, you need a local. A place? Okay. And for a booth, you just go on the street. Yep. So it's more expensive. In the booth, you only need a, a carreton. <laughs> <laughs> a cart? Yeah, you just need a cart. Okay, a trolley. But what is the advantage of selling on the street if there is an advantage? You can move anywhere. You don't have tax. You don't have taxes. What are the disadvantages? Or what is the word that I used yesterday for disadvantages? But you are going to be bribed by the Drawback. Again, William? It is Alex. It's Alex. Yeah. You sound the same. I'm so sorry. You have the same tone of voice. <laughs> you have the same name. Come on, guys. Uh huh. What did you say, Alex? You are not going to pay taxes, but you are going to be bribed for cancer by cancer. Oh, you were gonna you're gonna pay the the, the rent. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. For the MS. The MS. Okay. But what happens there? You don't have electricity as well, right? Yeah. It what is about abundant. what about the weather? Ooh, disadvantage. That's a disadvantage. That's a drawback. A drawback. Okay. Do you think Philip's suggestion suggestion will help the business grow? Do you think they will grow if they become what distributors other than producers? What, what do you think? Will it help the business? Yes. Hey, did you watch the video? Have you watched the video that we talked about yesterday? Key considerations for the direct and indirect channel approach? No. No, right? Okay, no. It's clear you didn't watch the video. Okay, let's move on with our I next forgot. topic. <laughs> I forgot. Don't worry, guys. I know you you have a lot of work to do. Everybody except Fernando. Fernando is always sitting on his chair, doing nothing, playing. <laughs> Just playing. Um, what wow. is it, Minecraft? I don't like Minecraft. Me I neither. Don't like I don't understand it. Minecraft. I don't, I don't know. Among uh, Us. Among Us. I prefer most. I prefer, I never, I never I prefer to it. play. I prefer to play FIFA or Call of Duty. Call of Duty. Okay. Hey, do you remember um, war? What was it? World, world, world of war. Uh huh. Yeah. God of War is something else, but there was a this this place where you could join. That was the first game where you could join all an arcade. You know, many people was propose it on the on the on the game before Minecraft I can't remember the name of that thing anyways okay how to use expressions of certainty certainty um, Fernando do you know if Alianza won the game yes yes it, uh, Alianza won uh, five zero are you sure? Yes, I do. Are you totally sure? Yes, I, I was watching the game. <laughs> oh, really? Yes. Obviously. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> hey, have you watched the whole Eloyo? Have you watched Eloyo in on Netflix? No. What really? is this? It's a movie or it's a series? It's a, it's a movie. So you haven't watched Eloyo? 
That's, <laughs> oh, that's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. That's the name of the movie, El Hoyo. And it has a lot of meaning. It's basically uh, an adaptation of our current social status. You know, the segmentation of society regarding money. That's what the movie is about. But you have to watch the movie to understand. It's crazy. It's it's very bloody. There's a lot of blood in the movie. Okay, be careful. But have you seen the movie, the, the meme, the meme of the old guy that goes like, obvio. Yeah, obvio. Obvio. Okay. So that's expressing certainty. Okay. Let's go with the reading of this. Um, I need some help here. Somebody who hasn't talked. Irene Azucena Cuellar Albanes. Good evening. Okay. Can you help me, please, with the first charts? Let's go with this chart first, okay? This part. Go ahead. Okay. <clears throat> Use these expressions to show our certain or, or sure you feel about an action or event. I can say or event. Expression of certainty appear before the main verb in a sentence, but after the auxiliary verb. The investors is certainly coming tomorrow. The managers obviously choose the wholesale approach to the solution. Okay, so thank you. You just say how certain, how, how certain. certain. How certain. Yeah, it's like removing the A, certain. Certain. There you go. How certain or sure you feel about an action or event? Expressions of certainty, everybody, expressions of certainty. 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 Yeah, the, the stress is on cer certainty. Appear certainty. before the main verb in a sentence, but after the auxiliary verb. They are saying the same thing, okay. The investor is certainly, certainly, again, stress goes here, certainly coming tomorrow. The investor is certainly coming tomorrow. The inspector of the restaurant is certainly coming tomorrow, for sure. That's a synonym of certainly, for sure. The managers obviously choose, I'm sorry, the managers obviously chose the wholesale approach to distribution. Uh, guys, can you correct this on your book? It should be for distribution, not to distribution, okay? Chose the wholesale approach for distribution. Okay, so do you, are you getting this? It's just words to describe how certain or sure you feel about something that you're saying. So, how do you understand certainly? Certamente? How would you translate this, Luis Ernesto? The, the, the sentence, the investor is certainly coming tomorrow. De hecho. Can you translate the whole sentence? Certamente. Certamente, Alex. Hecho, viene mañana. Ajá, el, el inversionista, de hecho, viene mañana. Ok. Could I say, uh, seguramente? Ciertamente. Ciertamente. Seguramente, Seguramente es surely. Very good. The managers obviously chose the wholesale approach for distribution. Can somebody translate? Obviamente. Obviamente. Uh -huh. <laughs> what is the meaning of chose? Elegir in past. No, it's okay. Approach is 
a, te a technique, yes, is an option. For example, we use the approach of TBL, task-based learning. Um, you use the approach, uh, teachers use different approaches with students. Uh, repeating, repeating phrases could be an approach to attack pronunciation. The articulation is an approach, yeah. Okay, but in this case, it's the same thing. The wholesale approach is like the option of wholesale for distribution. Okay, so los gerentes obviamente eligieron la opción, how do you try, de mayoreo, la opción de mayoreo para distribución. Obviamente eligieron la opción de mayoreo para distribución. Okay, so this go before the verb and after the auxiliary. Okay. Sí, ese voladito, exactamente. Yeah, this one. <laughs> and this one. Okay, <laughs> let's go with the second part. Uh, da, da, da. Andrés. Uh, sometimes expression of certainty can be placed. be placed at the beginning of the sentence. For example, uh, surely the managers will know how to arrange for distribution. Distribution, okay. And doubtless the shipment will arrive on time. Okay, very good, good Andres. Good job, just one thing, you say arrange, arrange. Surely the managers will know how to arrange for distribution. Arrange. Yep, doubtless the shipment will arrive on time. Now, the difference, what's the difference? The position of, um, of the expression that you're using. Sometimes these expressions may go at the beginning of the sentence. Other times they may go at the end and we were, we're about to see that. So surely the managers will know how to arrange for distribution. Doubtless, what do you think is doubtless? Without doubt. No doubt. No doubt. Sin duda. Sin duda. Exactly. Yeah. That, that sounds better. No doubt the shipment will arrive on time. You can use that, no doubt. Okay. Uh, teacher, a mm -hmm. question. Uh, the position of the expression is up to you. No. And yes, my recommendation is to listen to yourself. If we apply this uh, rule to these expressions, for how does it sound? Let's see. So the rule says on these two, and some of them, they go before the, the verb and after the auxiliary. So where is the verb here? The managers will know how to arrange for distribution. Okay, we have will, no. Will the auxiliary, no the verb. So the managers will surely know how to arrange for distribution. <laughs> how does it sound? Surely the managers will know how to arrange for distribution. The managers will surely know how to arrange for distribution. How does it sound? What sounds better? Okay, again, surely the managers will know how to arrange for distribution. Okay, the managers will surely know how to arrange for a distribution. For me, there's no difference on that example. Why? What's the difference? In my experience, a British, listen, a British person will say the second option. The managers will surely know how to arrange for a distribution. It sounds more fancy. It sounds more fancy, okay? Doubtless, doubtless the shipment will arrive on time. The shipment will doubtless arrive on time. The shipment will no doubt arrive on time. That doesn't sound right. If you use no doubt, it doesn't sound the same as doubtless. So my point is, criticize yourself. How does it sound? 
y de manera general, de manera general, todas las reglas gramaticales cuando aplicas adverbios de frecuencia o en este caso las expresiones de ser, ser de certeza, expresiones de certeza, o sea, estas pequeñas partículas de gramática deben ir por regla general, por regla general, no escrita en piedra, um, deben ir antes del verbo o después del auxiliar. And I will always love you. Right? I will always love you. I like applying that example, but <clears throat> my voice is not here today. I'm so sorry, Caroline. I fail you. I will. Will the auxiliary always frequency adverb love you? Just remember that. Keep keep that in mind. So when you have doubts, um, Suleyma, when you have doubts, just think about Whitney Houston, you know, the teacher singing horribly in the class. You will go <laughs> like, oh yeah, he said that. I remember. <laughs> Eso se llama eso se llama crear uh, cápsulas de tiempo en tu cerebro. O sea, uh, crea algo chistoso o algo triste y se te va a quedar grabado lo que querés en la cabeza. It works. Ok. okay. In close. Who can help me? Caroline, you're so quiet. In close, in close, of course, and we all like, likely, likely who? in commas, when they occur in the middle of the sentence. Middle. Middle. Mm -hmm. So, in close. What do you understand by in close? Encerrar. Yeah, yeah. L in literally. <laughs> literally, in thank you. In close. Okay, in close this, of course, and this in commas when they occur in the middle of a sentence so the investment meant of course a pay rise for the employees the investment meant i'm sorry the investment meant the investment meant of course a pay rise for the employees la inversión significó por supuesto un Aumento, Aumento salarial ajá, para los empleados. Incluso en el español, you make a pause. Ok. Ed and Philip are, in all likelihood, ready to make their business grow. Can somebody translate this, Jocelyn? I don't know, teacher. What is the meaning of likelihood? Think. De decompose, decompose, Jocelyn, decompose the word. You know, you know, like, right, Jocelyn? Wait, you know, like, right? You know, who it? Idea, what is likelihood? Okay, what is it, Alexander? Somebody's speaking, I'm sorry. Probabilidad, no. Uh -huh. Probabilidad. Probabilidad. One more time, one more time. Ed and Phil tienen la probabilidad de hacer crecer su negocio. Somebody else? Want to give it a try? Toda la probabilidad. Let's, re let's, remove, let's, let's remove the certainty uh, expression. Ed and feel are ready to make their business grow. Están listos para hacer crecer su negocio, ¿ok? Están listos bajo todo criterio, bajo toda probabilidad, right? In all likelihood, en todo sentido. There you go. And that's the most appropriate meaning, uh, en todo sentido. Ed and Philip are Ed y Philip están en todo sentido listos para hacer crecer su negocio. Makes, makes more sense. Alex. Alexander. Right here. Ok. Go ahead, please, if you may read. This expression can also be used 
follow the end of a sentence. Sorry, Mr. Taylor, it has reached many more customers. Obviously. So again, guys, it is up to you. It's up to you how you sound. If you feel it sounds good, then use it at the end. Y número dos, la práctica, señores, los pelones de cara cuando hables con americanos te van a ayudar muchísimo en este aspecto específicamente y te lo digo por experiencia no solo vivida sino que lo he visto en muchas personas muchos latinos que están en Estados Unidos así es como aprenden just facing reality ok now to understand this context of certainty and uncertainty ok be careful with that because some are expressions of certainty certeza and how do you translate this word uncertainty? Incerteza, de certeza. What it, how do you? Incierto. Desacierto. Desacierto. Certeza, desacierto. Okay, to understand that better, we'll go to your chat in Zoom. I just. Okay, there's more examples. And, and this can be used asking for certainty, expressing certainty, which is what we have on the book, expressing uncertainty, which is what we have on the book. Okay. And there you have a lot of examples. Asking for certainty. Are you sure? Are you sure about it? Are you certain about it? Do you think it is true? Oh, do you think so? Listen to the difference. An American will say, do you think so? Do you think so? And a British will just say, do you think so? Or just think so? Think so? Okay, see the difference? Think so? How sure are you? How sure are you? How sure are you? Yes, I'm certain. I'm 100% certain. I'm absolutely sure. I have no doubt about it. Okay, of course. I'm positive. I'm quite sure about it. Listen to this. I'm quite sure about it. I'm not, I'm no doubt about it. I'm absolutely certain that this is true. Expressing uncertainty, I'm not sure about it. Without hesitation. What? Come again? Without hesitation? No hesitation sounds better. Yeah, without hesitation. Okay. Not being afraid of being wrong. Not being afraid of being wrong, I'm telling you. Okay. I'm absolutely sure. Questions? Questions? I think Johnny is practicing Mandarin right now while he's on the class. Are you taking to ing are you taking to language classes? Because I see you articulating like like who says me how Kailan? I don't my me how ni men how. Okay, come on, come on. Questions? No? Okay, let's play a game really quick. You have 10 minutes for this activity. I'm going to split you in small groups. Just come up with a very short conversation. Fernando. Tell me. You know, I think your wife cheats on you. What? <laughs> <laughs> Look at the expressions. <laughs> Make me a question. Make me a question using the expressions. Um, Go to the WhatsApp. Are you sure? I'm 100% sure. Um, I'm not sure about it. Okay, you see, that's the way you use it. So come up with a short conversation 
like this, okay? And just make it fun if you want, but very short, okay? Just picture a situation where you will need to use this vocabulary. That's the whole point. Okay, let's do it together. Let's go. Nine minutes, nine minutes. Expressing certain cara dilata. Maybe is the similar the last conversation. Hey, we're building a conversation. Obviously. <laughs> we had to we had to think a, a, a conversation topic. Ow. What happened? I'm, I think I'm getting a heart attack. Oh, God. I think Ay. I'm... <laughs> Mira, Carolina, Carolina ni se mosquea. Eh, <laughs> eh, Yo creo que... No, José, José Antonio, <laughs> José Antonio. <laughs> 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 Do you think it is true? Carolina, say, okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. <laughs> Okay, bye. bye. <laughs> Good for you. Oh my God. Good for you, teacher. You're so mean, Carolina. I just can't believe it. <laughs> You're a mean, Sorry. mean person. <laughs> wow. Hey, that could be that could be a good example. I don't know. Are you sure? Well, the pregunta va a ser Antonio, for example, for example. Do you think it is true? Or the teacher is joking? <laughs> I don't believe that it's true. <laughs> I don't believe it's true. Okay, I have to see it with my own eyes. Judas, I'm going to call you Judas. No, what was it? Who was it? The one that said, I I won't believe it. San Mateo, right? I doubt I it. I doubt it. I doubt it. Hasta que no vea la <laughs> Oh, my God. Okay, keep going, guys. <laughs> Guys, I think I'm getting a heart attack. Why, teacher? Oh, come on, use the expressions. Mr. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Ernesto was like, what, what, what? <laughs> come on, that's an example. Okay. I think I won the lottery. Really? Come on, are you sure? Are, are you, you sure? going to share with us? <laughs> half and half. 
The fifty teacher. It's difficult. <laughs> Come on. Okay, okay. We have to to build a conversation, teacher. With yeah, a short conversation, like uh -huh. in daily life. How do you use these expressions in daily life? Okay. Are you sure? Yeah, thinking about. Okay, think about it. Outless uh, is sin duda, verdad? No doubt, correct. Okay, thank you. I know mm -hmm. that there is a lie, there is lie out, out in the, at the universe. <laughs> Do you think it's a lie? The end of the universe is a lie? There is life. Oh, there is life uh, at the end of the universe. Uh, Could be. Uh, okay, here you are. Katie, fifty dollars. I think. Change. I think I'm getting a heart attack. Why, teacher? Are you sure? Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing with you. It's an example. I think I'm getting a heart attack. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm certain. Do you think so? I'm positive. Okay. No, some, no, what I felt? I felt uh -huh. like, like you were going to claim something about the bank. Oh my God, I just, <laughs> what went wrong? <laughs> Doubtless, you're lying. Doubtless, you're lying. Good. There you go. Absolutely. Okay. Keep it up. It's just a small conversation like that to apply this in a natural way, you know. How you do it? Come on. Okay. Will you send or how are we going to do? Yeah, will be a good, of course, this will be a good part with the family. A good time with the, of course, it will be a good time with the family. Uh huh, okay. Yes, of course. Uh -huh. um, tell me, please. Usually, I spend time with my family also, or certainly. Mm -hmm. Certainly, uh, we are going to the church, for example. My family, obviously. Obviously, my family, obviously, quema pólvora. First fireworks. My family obviously burst fireworks. How can okay? I'm gonna write it for you, don't worry. Burns. Burst. Bursts. Of course, it's third person, so my family obviously bursts. Okay, bursts. Burst the Burst. Fireworks. Fire. 
Que le eh, firework. Así se escribe. Fireworks. What did I write? Yeah, fireworks. Fireworks. Okay. Fuegos artificiales. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Then. And I am absolutely sure. We have a, a great time. We are going to we are going to have a great time. Of course. Okay. Of course, of, of course, we're going to eat a amazing dinner. To have an amazing dinner? Actually, something else, Edwin. Yeah, mm. I suppose that we will sleep too late. And the next day, maybe, probably, we will be tired. Yeah, more or less. I suppose. I suppose we will sleep too late. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, I suppose we will sleep too late. Okay. Too late, obviously. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> obviously, oh, okay. Oh, surely, surely, I am say, surely we will sleep too late. Mm -hmm. Uh, 
something else or it's all? For me, it's okay. Okay. Okay, who wants to share their example of conversation really quick? Just one. Hello, hello. One, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, who wants to share their example of conversation? Nobody? Okay. Big team. Jose Antonio, what's your favorite color? Quick. My favorite color is pink. I knew it. Okay, pink. Thank you, Caroline. <laughs> <laughs> he belongs to our group too. <laughs> oh wait, Fernando! Oh my God, <laughs> you're so pink. Okay, really quick. Did you use it? Can you give me an example, really quick? Okay. Mm. I think, I think uh, yesterday I saw Fernando in a girl's club. What? It wasn't me. I, I wasn't there. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm not sure. I am not sure. absolutely certain. Absolutely certain. Maybe you saw uh, uh, people that more or less like me, but I wasn't there. I was in my English class at to, uh, yesterday at this time. I don't know what you you are talking about. There you go. That's a clear example. How can you not remember where you were? Okay. Anyways. <laughs> okay, guys. Let's keep going. Uh, da -da -da. I'm going to do the attendance. I'm staying with Anita tonight. I'll see you tomorrow at 8 o'clock. Please don't miss your class. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Good night. Good night. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Good night. Good night. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present. Good night. Good night. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present. Good night. Good night. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. Present. Good night. Good night. Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Present. Good night. Good night. Josué Alberto Salas Benítez. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present teacher. Thank you. Good night. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Suleima, good night. Suleima Yvonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Good night. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. And Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Barca. Present. Present. Good night. Good night. Good night. Okay. Hello, Doc, 
Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you tonight? Mm, more or less. Why? Me ha tocado correr de un hospital al otro. Híjole, ¿qué me imagino? Ah, pero eso es terrible, ¿verdad? Todavía anda afuera. De traffic. Whole traffic. Do you drive? Yes. You drive. Oh my God. So, but driving, driving should be relaxing. I enjoy driving. I enjoy driving, even in traffic. You know, even if I'm late, I just love to drive. Yes. It's a, it's a, it's a, depend the, depend the traffic emotion, depend the, the work. <laughs> it depends on your uh, job. Yes. Mm maybe it's true but you love what you do right you enjoy what you do so you should be happy you know working and then going back home driving do you drive a standard or automatic standard standard i love driving a standard more okay. than more than automatic i don't know it's better no no it's a uh... Um, a simple, I the, um, I think the que la máquina me manda. <laughs> I was <see>. Yeah, <laughs> that is true. Yeah, and if you yeah. if you have a mechanical problem with an automatic car, it's expensive. It's expensive. It's expensive. Yes. yes. The, the yeah, it's very expensive. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. What what plans do you have for Christmas? What will you do on Christmas? Um, uh, depend the work. Uh, it's frequently the emergency. Uh, Mer the, yes, it's frequently the accident. Is 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 more uh, a lot of work is um, your job increases yes, your job increases um, during christmas and then the time the rest uh, i um, what do you do what do you typically do with your family uh, and, and the house teacher in the house and I uh, I the cooking and uh, a small party in the family and I sleep. <laughs> yes, you have to take advantage of the free time to sleep. It's the it's the um, at the long time is the, the the children in in my case is the the children. In my family, is a, it's a, it's much, it's much familiar to it. It's no, more familiar. No, it's more familiar in the, uh, no, no, living in the visit the family. Ni, it's, it's directly the, the, the my family, the celebration. I know visit uh, other family, other parents. And you, it's a party. <laughs> yes, we typically have a party, um, but just at the house as well, in with the family. You know, we just get together in, inside yes. the house. We don't go anywhere. That is true. That's what we usually do as well. Yes. Teacher, I am. I, um, uh, last night, I had a question for the distribution channel, the consumer product. Uh, 
um, cuando eh, sabremos la diferencia que es un retail channel en the world the wholesale world uh -huh. mm -hmm. what's the difference is the is the, is the steps o the pasos eh, prácticamente lo repite por el, eh, cuando yo voy a saber que son que, que es cada uno Uh -huh. Ok, uh, uh -huh. a ver, el retail channel, eso está en la página 10, el retail channel. Yes. Uh -huh. Veamos, veamos. Ok, right, click here. Retail channel products, retail consumer. So, en World okay. Sales Channel, products. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Aquí estamos claros, okay. direct channel, producer, yes. consumer. Ok. consumer. Uh -huh. So, retail channel, from the producer, a retailer, uh -huh. and then the consumer. Un eh, revendedor. Eso es este. El retailer uh -huh. es un revendedor. Uh -huh. okay. El revendedor pues solamente compra directamente del productor y lo revende a un mayor precio al consumidor. Uh -huh. e ellos compran en bulks. En uh -huh. bulks. Ajá. O sea, cantidades grandes también, pero no tan grandes como un mayorista. Un wholesale. Uh -huh. Okay. Por eso el mayorista puede ser un distribuidor también. Uh -huh. Porque compra a granero, o sea, compra un gran volumen y por ende el, el, distribu el distribuidor o el mayoritario puede distribuir también al, al revendedor, al retailer. Uh -huh. Y muchas veces, de hecho, darle el mismo precio que le da el productor. Uh -huh. ¿Sí? En definitiva, el, el último que, que hace la transacción con el cliente final es el revendedor. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Sí, porque eh, usted pidió unos ejemplos ayer. Por ejemplo, yo tenía la confusión con Simai. Uh -huh. Que Simai se supone que es una cadena de tiendas, ¿verdad? Sí. Y ellos tienen hasta cooperativas o lugares donde hacen préstamos ellos, por ejemplo está Unicomer uh -huh. o Credicomer, algo así se llama y ellos también son este, como el de la misma cadena que, que está con la Curazao entonces por eso yo creí que Simán era eh, como el, el, el mayorista o el, el, pero en realidad el productor es el que fabrica directamente el, el producto y, y Simán es comprador de otras empresas. Correcto. Ahí... Si más le compra a empresas importadoras, por ejemplo, uh -huh. las cocinas, las lavadoras, los refris, todo eso, a empresas importadoras. Eh, uh -huh. y Pero por y entonces eso, las otras sucursales de, de ellos serían. Son otras, sí. Se, no, siguen siendo retail. Eh, ah, son sí. revendedores, son revendedores de productos. En, tienen diferentes branches, diferentes agencias donde revenden uh -huh. los productos que han adquirido. Algunos okay. a granel, otros individualmente. Ajá. Ok. That's the way it works. Sí. Okay. Es bien apegado al español. Ok. <risa> sí, tipo de negocio es algo así como. Es lógico, es de ser lógica. Nada más. Uh -huh. Ok, Adita. It's been my pleasure. Bueno. Espero que se cuide mucho. Bueno. Good night. Gracias. Que descanse. Same Hasta to luego. you. Bye bye.